hi friends welcome to my channel today we are going to see how we can save uh, attachments to a sharepoint list remove attachment from a sharepoint list as well as update attachments from a sharepoint list for doing this you need to ensure that you have the version 2.0.8.20 of power apps now i'm going to click on new and i'm going to click on sharepoint phone layout now this is not available for uh, custom forms which you are going to develop so that is one thing I want you guys to know and now I'm going to select my list which is an employee list okay and this list basically contains the employee ID the location and the desk location and I'm going to attach the user photo as a so basically users are going to attach their photos and create items here so now it is building the app and it is going to take some time to, to till then i'll just pause it so now my app is created and i'll just what i'm going to do is i'm just going to mention here the title Okay, the employee, the look, the desk location, and the actual location. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the edit form, and I'm just going to click here, and then I'm to select the data. Here in data, basically, you can see that you have two column has attachments, which is a boolean value, true or false, and we have a section called as attachments. So I'm going to click on that okay and also what I'm going to do is I don't want all these columns so I'm going to just remove them they are unnecessary we added so I just want the title location disk location and attachments that's it and I'm just going to change the height and width Let me just move this a bit down. So I will not spend much time in all this design or UI related changes. So I have added this control and now I will go back to the display form and here in the display form again I will go to properties, data and I am going to remove all these things, modified, created, created by, modified by ID and I'm only going to keep as attachments okay so you can see the display mode is view and here the display mode is edit okay so yeah here the display mode is uh, for the attachment is edit okay you can see that here now we are done and now I can go back to my app I can uh, click here I can edit the form I can go to images this folder I'll click on attach this works beautifully on your mobiles as well so I've tested it out so I'll just add this photo and I'll just save it so now you can see the attachment here so I can go back here I'll go back here I saw the attachment now I can click on new I'll add a new person I 
and I'll attach a file I'll attach another file okay now I can remove this and I can attach one more so in this way I can remove the file and add it and I'll click on save So the attachment has been added now I can go back I can click on edit and now if I remove person 4 you can see that undo symbol so I can regain it again or I can delete it and then save okay so this is basic uh, things about the attachment and now let's have a look at the various properties which we have so now when I go back here I can see that I can have maximum attachment 6 so if I can change this to 2 and the maximum attachment size in MB the maximum is 10, 10, 10 MB megabytes right so I, will, I can change this to 2 okay and so other properties which we have is this properties to so add attachment color so we can have a text add attachment text is attach file so attach photo okay now I want a color to this so I can change the color I can make this to blue okay then added item color so we can have a color for the added item then added added item fill so currently this is a blue color right so I can change this to hmm <clears throat> okay added item fill okay I change uh, so yeah so on the whole the color changes so this is a font color okay I have to mention the color here so I'll mention it here as yellow so I go here and add a file so it will see that maximum number of files has been reached okay then uh, border color border thickness disable border color yeah then we have maximum attachments to which I showed you maximum attachment size maximum attachment text so I can change that so you can have only one photo attached right so no attachment color so we I can have set that no attachment text I can set that so removed item fill removed item color okay so these are the previous properties and these are simple properties which you may have to implement as per your company guidelines and design and in this way you can build your app beautifully so you can see that there is no photo attached so if I add this photo and if I add this photo so you can see I got a message maximum number of photos reached if I delete this then I, I get I get back attached photo option but I guess that is a bug here so if I click on the first item or any item and then you edit it and then you add a photo okay so I added person 6 right okay let's go back yeah there was person 1 and I added uh, person 6 okay now if I remove person 6 I get attach photo okay so I'll go back I add person 6 and if I remove the actual one this message does not go right I should get an option of uh, attach photo but I guess as per their design it's right because of the undo option 
we don't see that option right so that is one thing so i click on submit and you can see the data gets submitted so that's all about saving attachments to sharepoint list and the various properties with which you can play so that's all for today and for this if you have any questions then you can write down in the comment section below thank you